Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, again, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. I encourage you and invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you also hit the notification bell so that you are notified <clears throat> when I put out new videos. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for watching. I encourage everybody to give the video a thumbs up. And today is, guess what? Wednesday. And what happens on Wednesday? I normally do a word of the day Wednesday. Word of the Day Wednesday is where I have chosen a word to share with you all of relevance to prepping, the prepping community. And what I normally do is read the definition of that word from the trusty Merriam's Webster's Dictionary Online. And I also associate a story or article or comments associated related to that word of the day. Now, without further ado, the word of the day for today is friend or friendship. Now, <clears throat> if you are a prepper, or thinking of becoming a prepper, you know that is very important to be careful who you have in your circle and who you call your friends because you are putting away important products, food, water, medical equipment, generators, money, all sorts of things that are very important. And if you don't have the right people in your circle, they can betray you. No correction. They will betray you. And as things tend to get a little worse day by day, you have to be very cautious of who your friends are or who you call your friends. Now, I have a little story associated with this word, friend, but first, let's go to the dictionary and read what is a friend. Who is a friend? Now, according to the dictionary, a friend, a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond of mutual affection typically exclusive of sexual or family relations. So that's what your friend, the definition friend. Friendship. Friendship is a relationship of mutual affection between people. It is a stronger form of interpersonal bond than an association and has been studied in academic fields such as communication, sociology, social psychology, anthropology, and philosophy. Now, I can't stand this computer sometimes. It takes forever to move around when I want it to do something because I wanted to read a few more things to you related to friends so hopefully it'll move around but in the meantime um let's talk a little bit now those of you that are on my level or have walked in my shoes or are walking in my shoes you're going to know exactly what i'm talking about because I can guarantee you, nine times out of ten, you experience this or you know someone who has. 
So story time. When I was diagnosed with NMO back in 2016, hold on you guys. Okay, I'm back. I had to plug in my charger. My screen started going dark, so battery was running low. But anyway, in 2016, when I was diagnosed with NMO, um, that was a very trying time, I must say. But when I refer to the word friend, so I had a friend who I consider my best friend of over 20 years just kind of fell by the wayside. Now that is not what you expect from a friend once you've been diagnosed with something or once you once you're going through a trying time, right? Um so during that time you would think that your friend is going to be there to assist you with whatever it is you may need. Going to the doctor, coming by, cooking a couple of meals for you and your children. Now, I did have other friends that came by and did those things, but not this one particular person that I had considered my friend. But needless to say, conversations started to get shorter. They kind of turned into text messages over time. Now, mind you, this is a friend. When Bank of Autoimmune Prepper was open, this person was welcome to the bank to borrow at any time and pay back whenever you could. But it seems like when the Bank of Autoimmune Prepper was no longer in operation and Autoimmune Prepper was no longer that independent individual being able to get around and <clears throat> rip and run the streets and do favors, then it seemed like I was of no use to this individual. And again, those of you that were have been in my shoes diagnosed with an autoimmune illness. Even if you weren't diagnosed with an autoimmune illness, let's say there was some other kind of tragedy that happened. I'm sure people that you thought were your friends walked away, turned their head and kind of went on about their business. So I figured, well, maybe this individual just felt like it's just too much. She's gonna be too needy. I don't feel like taking her to doctor's appointments. I don't feel like coming to offer to cook any food for her or her children. I don't feel like giving her a ride to physical therapy. I don't want her asking me for nothing. So the best thing for me to do is bow out. That's, you know, that friend. Because that's what kind of happened. Like I said, over time, I would get text messages for my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day. A text message? Excuse me? So I've been reduced to text messages? Your good friend of over 20 years who just been diagnosed with an autoimmune illness, gone through... A whole lot, a lot of pain, a lot of agony, a lot of sorrow, whatever. But this is the best that I can get from you? Wow. But you know, in the beginning, yeah, we're salty. We, we're kind of disappointed. But as time goes on, we heal and we're better. Do we still talk about these things? Yeah, because they're in our mind. We remember them. So it's just a story that I wanted to share. And like I said, those of you who have gone through this, you know exactly what I mean. Even some of you, you have family members that leave and 
They just don't want to be bothered. But they miss the blessing and the beauty of the outcome. I wasn't going to be a burden. I had other family members to help me through this time. Everybody has a part to play. Now, I know this person will say, or had I've even heard this person say before, people are in your life for a season, which is true. But I don't agree with that when you have been in a relationship, friendship with someone for over 20 years, and then you all of a sudden get sick, that means the season is over? That means the friendship is over because, oh, you got sick, so our season is over. Well, I guess so. If I can't loan you money anymore, or I can't do things for you anymore, then I suppose that season will be over. But that says a lot about that person's character and sometimes it takes a while to find out that people that you thought were your friends were not really your friends they were only around because you were able to be a benefit to them and does that suck Yes, it sucks. Okay, this is working again. So let's see here. What else did I want to mention about friendship? So that's why I say it's important as you are prepping, be careful who you call your friends. Because those very same people will turn their back on you, walk away, and leave you high and dry and take all your preps. And we don't want that, right? So we see. That's not what I wanted to see. So anyway, so one of the things, four stages of friends, acquaintance, um, peer friends, close friends, and then you have best friends. So let me tell you the kind of friend I am before I end this, because I don't want to drag it on too long. Now, I had a friend, I have a friend, we're still friends, that I worked with. She's an older lady, and some time ago, before I was diagnosed with my autoimmune illness, she had a stroke. Now, did I shy away from her, turn away from her? No. I was a friend to her. I took her to her doctor's appointments. I took her out. We would sit at the park, have lunch. I took her to physical therapy. I called her on a daily basis to see how she was because that's the kind of friend that I am. I didn't leave her. I didn't abandon her. And we are still friends to this day. I can recall coming from one of her doctor's appointments. And I was feeling pretty sick. And this was maybe a couple of weeks before my onset fully came on. And the whole paralysis, paralyzed and all of that. I remember it like it was yesterday. And went through my ordeal again at the hospital but I made a promise to her when I'm able to and I'm better I am going to come back and pick you up and pick up where we left off and I honored that promise we still talk every not every day but we check on each other maybe once a week and when I'm able to I hook up with her and I still get her out of the house. Because like I said, she's older. And it just was not in my nature to abandon my friend in her lowest point. It just was not. So we are still friends today. And like I promised her, if, even if I had to have somebody else take me to take her out, I get her out of the house because that's what kind of friend I am. But anyway, 
That is the word of the day. That is my little short story. The story is much longer than that, but I won't bore you with all of those details. But I just wanted to share the difference in the person who I thought was my friend. You couldn't have paid me to know that we would not be friends today. Couldn't have paid me. I would not have believed that a friend that I probably would forsake all others for. That's why you don't put all one egg, all your eggs into one basket with no one friend. Because and then you don't put expectations on people because they will disappoint you 100% of the time. So that's why you just have to be careful. Again, if you're working on prepping, watch, be careful of who in your circle have your antennas up, have your intuition on high alert because this is serious when it comes to your your well-being and your preps. Be careful of who you are calling your friends. People will disappoint you. But the thing is to see it, recognize it and move on. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone who is a subscriber. Hopefully this YouTube stays intact so that we can continue to share stories. In the comments section, I invite you to leave comments in the comments section. You're welcome to do that. But just please remember to keep them cute because we are what? We are nice over here. We are intelligent, and we like to share good information. So I will see everyone in the next video. Make sure that you double check that you are actually still subscribed to my channel. I do have more story times to come. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have some good stories I want to share with you. But this is a prepping channel, so I will definitely always make sure that I am sh sharing canning information, vacuum sealing, gardening, shopping, generators, solar panels, all that good stuff, water storage. Um, <clears throat> so stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next video, but remember to start every day with an attitude of gratitude. See you guys later. Bye.